Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam. We are coming to you live from Houston, Texas, and we are going to be talking about the World Telangana Convention 2018, which is going to be happening at the George R. Brown Convention Center on June 29, 30, and July 1st, 2018. And to talk about World Telangana Convention, I have three special guests here today and uh, to my right is uh, Bangar Reddy who is the main convener for this convention and next to him is uh, Srujana and she is also going to be talking about uh, some of the main events which uh, we will cover in a minute and next to her is uh, JP Muddi Reddy and he is going to highlight uh, the main theme of uh, World Telangana Convention uh, 2018 which is going to be Raite Raja, that is, farmer is the king. This World Telangana Convention is brought to you by the American Telangana Association in collaboration with the Telangana Association of Greater Houston. Welcome to Triple N Media. We are delighted to have you. We are going to start off with Bangar Reddy, who is the main convener for this World Telangana Convention 2018. Bangar, welcome to Triple N Media. Give us a, a bird's eye view of uh, World Telangana Convention. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Nick. Thanks for having me for today's uh, show here, uh, Triple N uh, Network. So, as, as Dr. Nick mentioned, we are preparing for the World Telangana Convention 2018 to be held on June 29th, 30th and July 1st at Jarjar Brown Convention Center. And uh, the preparations are underway and various committees are working towards making this a grand event, a world Telangana convention where all Telugu families across the world will be joining in Houston, Texas. So the main theme of the theme of the convention, as Dr. Nick mentioned, it's Raite Razu, that means farmer is the king. The reason being we wanted to highlight the major issues that farmer is facing over decades and decades and decades to highlight farmer on the main stage here at Jarjar Brown Convention Center. So we have various activities planned that surrounds uh, the farmers. And today we are going to talk about the issues and also the activities that we are going to do to showcase and highlight farmer issues and also what we can do to uh, be, what we can do to just be a, a small part of the solution we are going to do that at Jar Jar Brown and we are also going to take this message even after the convention to reach out across the world on the issues that farmers are facing in state of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. That's wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching a Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam. We are talking about uh, the World Telangana Convention which is going to be happening here in Houston at the Jar Jar Brown Convention Center on June 29th, 30th and July 1st, 2018. Now let's uh, talk to Srujana about uh, some of the issues related to farmers and how this convention is going to highlight uh, these issues and, and probably come up with some solutions. Thanks, Dr. Nick. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to address some of the issues that uh, the farmers from Telangana state currently facing right now. Uh, first main thing is the investment. Uh, usually at the be very beginning stage of the cultivation, the farmers are getting disappointed because usually the loans from the repeated banks will be given depending upon their previous yields and produce and uh, the yields are not that much satisfactory all the year through. So that is a very basic thing that the farmer is facing. And next thing is, uh, is a demand and supply. What does this mean? Is usually the farmers they very follow the very traditional method of cultivation uh, by seeing their uh, you know beside farmers or neighbors and they all in the same village farmers will be producing the same type of cultivation and the same produce. So, for example, uh, they take uh, different types of uh, vegetables like tomato and potato. Like everyone will follow the same method of cultivation, 
which uh, all the produce will be uh, releasing to the market at the same time. So usually there will be, there is a demand and supply, usually they get a very low price for that and which is a not at all satisfactory price that what the farmer is expecting from. So uh, and next thing is the nutrient and pest management like they needs to be educated well like what is the exact stage of the crop that uh, the uh, the fields needs to be getting the pesticides and the nutrients at the proper levels because the farmers they follow the very traditional method of putting you know uh, they don't follow the proper uh, cages of putting the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium they just put in a half bag of uh, um, this urea and all the things they don't measure exactly for the for this so and uh, one more thing is uh, the government needs to supply the seeds at the proper stage i mean on uh, the seeds needs to be uh, allocated to the farmers at the very you know Offer whenever they rate. need it yeah. so that's what the farmers are facing right now that's very interesting you know you talked about the finances you talked about proper education of farmers and proper utilization of uh, fertilizer to get the maximum production and maybe even rotating crops so that you know not everyone yeah. is bringing tomatoes to the, the sure. market. <laughs> One more thing I would like to add here is uh, the soil testing laboratories. You know, there are so many soil testing laboratories that the farmers need to, you know, look into that before uh, going for some of the crops they need to at least know the basic things like what exactly the crops needs to be grown in their own soil in their own lands that is very basic thing that every farmer needs to be educated ladies and gentlemen you have been watching a triple n media i'm dr nick nickham we are coming to you all live from houston texas where the world telangana convention 2018 is going to be happening on june 29, 30 and July 1st, 2018 and they are going to be highlighting farmers, right there. Raju. <laughs> right there, Raju means farmer is the king and uh, Srijana brought up several issues that relate to the farmers. So now let's turn to JP Mudi Reddy and he is going to talk about uh, how this convention can make a difference on all the points that were highlighted by Srijana. Would yeah. you ready? Thank you, Dr. Nick, for having me on your show. Um, like Bangaru Garu said, you know, the highlight of the convention is uh, is the uh, farmer's cause, you know. So we, we call this program as Raite Raju uh, because usually that's the one who is most forgotten about. So, you know, we want to make sure uh, we highlight the cause for the farmers in this. So as part of the program, what we are doing is we are inviting agricultural scientists, professors, um, and also farmers from India and even uh, across USA, we're going to invite professors and scientists to come participate in the convention. Um, we're going to have a, a beautiful exhibition hall, which is going to exhibit, uh, uh, you know, uh, the things about the farmers. We're going to have uh, a photo booth. We're going to have, you know, uh, especially for younger generations here, right? So they are totally disconnected with our culture, the way we were brought up and the way we we saw farming, you know, they are totally disconnected with that. So we want to bring them together. We want to give them that experience of farming and our culture. Uh, so that's going to be one of the highlights of the convention. And also, uh, we have a program called Racha Banda, where, you know, we, we're going to invite, you know, politicians, we're going to invite uh, uh, agricultural professors and scholars to participate in open discussions. Uh, mainly the focus in those discussions would be uh, to talk about farmers' issues and to t also talk about food that we eat. You know, one of the things uh, that, that's a major concern for uh, this generation is, are we eating the right food? So we're going to focus on those things and, you know, uh, and kind of uh, let, you know, our farmers know and farming culture know, you know, what we want to eat and how we want to eat, right? Um, at the end, and, and this is unlike any other convention, uh, this program uh, where everything ends, we want to start this program and take it in a big scale. And one of our main goals here is to have at least 100 plus uh, core volunteers who would continue to work on farmers' issues, who would continue to work on food issues, and then, you know, uh, take it to the next level. That's fascinating. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching the Triple N Media. We are talking about uh, the World Telangana Convention happening here at the George R. Brown Convention Center in Houston, Texas on June 29th, 30th and July 1st 
and please visit uh, atausa.org where you can get all the information and uh, make all your res uh, registrations uh, uh, on the website and also uh, we can uh, talk about uh, you know yes we want to talk about this and raise the issues and all these things and after the convention is over you know a lot of times things just stop there uh, are you all going to be doing something different to carry this uh, momentum to help the farmers in various issues she, she talked about financing mm -hmm. about proper education about proper knowledge and also about raw materials like seeds yeah, and, and 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 harvesting the crops <laughs> so that is the main object the very reason we are highlighting the convention for this farmers cause to take it this is the beginning the convention is going to be the beginning for the farmers cause and as jp mudredi well said uh, it is forgotten cause uh, because many people talk about it but while coming to the implementation i think it is uh, left over at many times but this time at least we would like to see that uh, houston is going to be the main platform where we highlight farmers bring them onto the stage have a forum where scholars and farmers and uh, as well as the politicians talk together and media can uh, send that information all over the world and then we are going to at least form this group right here also with 100 plus volunteers and take that cause to every village as you know that uh, you know grama swarajyam means uh, it comes with a farmer if farmer is happy then i am sure village will be healthier and wealthy and that means we can achieve our prosperity for the, our country and uh, i'm sure ata convention and all ata head of committee and ata executive board are excited to announce this as the main theme and not only that we are giving portion of the funds for this cause that means we are going to have some seed fund to take it to the villages and also all the farmers that are, are in united states when they visit uh, to see their children or grandchildren they are welcome as a free pass uh, it's a free admission to all the farmers that are in united states or across the world they can come here and and see how it is going and again as we said we are also going to show the children the prototypes of various crops and seeds and how we really we we grow back in india and that would help uh, engage our youth also into into this program any final thoughts gentlemen uh, yeah go ahead so, uh, yeah so uh, like bangar garu said thank you bangar garu for for bringing it to the ata board where you know they are willing to you know uh, fund this program you know they are the first ones to fund this program and will use uh, you know those funds to take this program to the next level thank you so much and for the details uh, visit ataconvention.org and we are going to give all the update about this special project right there raju on the website again it is ataconvention.org ladies and gentlemen you have been watching the triple n media and we are talking about the world telangana convention which is going to be happening at the george or brown convention center here in houston texas on june 29 30 and july 1st so please visit ataconvention.org and make your reservations and we will see you in houston uh, by in the, in the month of june Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank for you. watching. Thanks Thank for having us.